So I'm Dr. Shane Shapira and I work at Toronto General Hospital in the lung program. I'm one of the respirologists. And um, I'm going to talk a little bit about what's been going on with all the flooding. And in particular with flooding, recent flooding in Toronto and Calgary, I think it's important that people know what to look for and what to watch out for. Uh, after we have major flooding, like the last couple of weeks, um, there's always a worry that if water stays around, you can end up with mold and water damage. And sometimes water damage and mold are obvious. You might see black or red things on the, on the walls or on the floor. But sometimes water damage can be really subtle and hard to notice without the help of a professional. Um, if there is water damage or mold, uh, this can be a big problem for people with chronic lung conditions. Things like asthma, COPD or emphysema, chronic bronchitis. Those people can get more breathing symptoms. They can have cough, wheezing, difficulty breathing. But even people with normal lungs, if they have exposures to very high levels of fungus or mold, or if they have chronic low levels, they can have problems with their breathing and have the same symptoms. So it's important that when people are cleaning out their flood damaged homes that they wear protective equipment. And in particular, people should wear a mask if they're going to go into an area that has a lot of water damage. You should try and dry the area completely to let it uh, to let the molds get the molds do not do well if they're dry so dry the areas completely and if you see evidence of chronic water damage when you're doing your cleaning you should call a professional to come and clean it up more thoroughly if you develop any lung symptoms related to exposures to mold you should see your family doctor or your specialist